Hello and welcome to the latest video in the Surfer New Feature video series by Golden Software. Today I'll be demonstrating a new feature that we are thrilled to unveil, 3D gridding of XYZC data. Surfer can now model the subsurface like never before. This means that environmental consultants can now fully represent the extent of contamination plumes or demonstrate with greater accuracy the concentration of chemicals in the soil. And those in the geoscience industries can even visualize mineral deposits beneath the surface. In this video, I will demonstrate the process to create a 3D grid. Before starting, ensure you have your XYZC dataset already saved. From the top ribbon, click Home, Grid Data to open the Grid Data dialog. In the Grid Data dialog, select the new XYZC data type and the 3D gridding options will populate. Choose from one of the three gridding methods. Load your dataset by clicking Browse. This dataset contains the mineral concentrations of gold at corresponding depth values. Set the corresponding columns from your datasheet to the proper variables, then click Next. Similar to our XYZ gridding, we offer a variety of advanced gridding options that allow you to fine-tune your final grid output by applying anisotropy or limiting the search neighborhood. On the final grid output page, you can alter the grid geometry if desired. All 3D grids are saved to a VTK file format. Set your save location for the VTK file and finish the gridding process by adding the 3D grid as any of our grid-based map types. Surfer will transform your data into the chosen map type and save the VTK file, which you can use to generate a wide range of 3D visualizations. If you want to take your models into a new dimension with Surfer's 3D features, download the free trial today by clicking the link in the description or visit our website, goldensoftware.com.